everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a get ready with me chit chat, answering a few of your questions that you guys asked me over on Instagram. This is just going to be like a really laid back, chill kind of get ready with me. I'm playing with some new makeup palettes. You guys wanted me to do a makeup look with this palette from Per Cosmetics. It's the Festival 2 palette. So today I used these beautiful blue colors. I just wanted to play with a lot of new makeup that I've recently got and sharing with you guys what I think of all of this new makeup. So if you guys want to get ready with me grab a snack grab a drink or if you're getting ready let's get ready together and I just want to make this intro super quick because I know this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video so if you guys want to see how I get this beautiful look then please keep okay, watching so let's get started I'm first gonna clip back my hair with these little clips that I got from Amazon I will link everything that I use today down below so we're gonna just clip our hair out of our face because I hate when hair is anywhere near my face when I am trying to do my makeup. One of the first things new that I'm trying today are these Grace and Stella um, like eye patches. So you're supposed to clean your skin first and then place these masks under your eyes. So that's what we're gonna do today to give some Hydration, these are supposed to help like de-puff your eyes. So we're gonna see, oh this is, I didn't think this one through, this might be a little bit messy. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on here. I think it goes this way. I hope so. On this eye. Okay. I hope that's right. Okay, I hope this is right, but it feels so weird. Okay, so you're supposed to leave these on for like 15 to 20 minutes, which is fine because we're just going to do our eye makeup while this sits on my face a little bit. Cute. I'm going to let these sit for 15 to 20 minutes, and then I'm going to come back and start getting ready. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes or so. I finally was getting on some TikToks, trying to create a TikTok, so... We are going to take these off, and these are for one-time use, so these are going to go in the garbage. So I'm feeling really, really hydrated underneath my eyes, so I like that. Um, I don't know if they've gotten less puffy. I don't know. We'll have to see. But we're going to start now with makeup. So I have a lot of new stuff today that I want to play with and just kind of share with you guys some other stuff that I've been using a lot lately. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so for moisturizer lately, I've been using the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This has SPF 30 in it. You really want to protect your skin. So I'm going to put a little bit on my face. I have a breakout like right here. I could feel it coming. My skin is still going through it like it always is. You guys can see here we have some breakouts as well. A lot of it I think is contributing to what everyone's calling as maskne, which is mask acne, which is not fun. Um, just from wearing the mask so much. For my primer, I'm going to be using the Milani Prime Shield Face Primer. This is the mattifying one. It's oil-free. I like oil-free and mattifying primers because even though I have a little bit on the drier side of skin, I like to just make sure that my skin, when I do put on foundation, doesn't get too oily because I don't like when that happens. So I just like to make sure that I prime the skin very well. Okay, so moving on, I think I'm going to start with eyes today because I'm going to try a different look. So I'm going to start off with this new Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow primer. It's called Thank Me Later. I got this in my BoxyCharm this month, which if you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I talked about how my BoxyCharm this month was nothing to, you know, brag home about because it just, I don't know guys, I got a really terrible BoxyCharm this month. Um, a lot of my stuff just looked a little off to me. My Glam Glow product that was in there 
was very um, scratched up. My Cargo Cosmetics eyeshadow palette that was in this month's box for me was really scratched up. There was no like um, clear plastic like overlay that goes over the shadows like when you open up a new palette. So I don't know what the heck that was about. So I wasn't really a big fan of that. So I'm going to be using a palette that I got in my BoxyCharm last month. I think this was in August, no, this was in July. It is the Per Festival 2.0 palette. It looks like this. You guys saw it in my BoxyCharm unboxing. Today I'm gonna play around with these blue colors a little bit, so I think I'm gonna mix the two and do some sort of look there. So let's go ahead and take a flat shaded brush. I am going to use, I'm just gonna use a flat shader brush that I already have, and I am going to take a mixture of Utopia and Electric, which is like the lighter blue color and this darker blue color, and I'm gonna mix them together. Top off the excess, and I'm just going to be placing this on my lid, and I'm going to pat it because I did notice when playing around with these shadows before, they're so highly pigmented that you do get some fallout. So just keep that in mind if you have this palette or you get it, you do get some fallout with these shadows, but they're beautiful colors. Are you guys excited about fall? What are you looking forward to this fall? I feel like all of the seasons are going to just be a lot different this year. So now that we applied, this pigment gets literally everywhere, but it's okay. So now that we applied that, I want to take a Murphy M535 brush and I'm going to go into this color up here which is the shade Insta Worthy and I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to buff this into the crease and like a little bit higher above and this is just going to help create a really good transition between the blue and just kind of warm up the eye a little bit more. And as you guys can see, I'm using a really, really light hand on this because I'm trying my hardest not to get into that blue color. I don't want to drag it up any higher because I want the crease to kind of just stay pretty warm. So I asked you guys over on Instagram to send me some questions. I figured I'd add a little bit of a Q and A in here so that I'm not sitting here in silence while I film. So I'm checking my phone right now to see little, to see what kind of questions you guys asked me. So the first one comes from Lex Joy and she says, why are you so pretty? I love all of your content. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. And girl, you are beautiful too. And I'm so glad that you are enjoying my content that I'm putting out for you guys. It really just makes me smile when I know that people are loving the content that I'm putting out and I'm working really hard to put out for you guys. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of your love and support that everyone gives me. It never goes unnoticed and I'm super appreciative of it. Okay, the next question comes from Lily, or Illy GHZ and she says, first vacations once things are normal again. So I feel like people are really starting to travel again. People really are just traveling but, you know, safely, um, as safe as they can be, so wearing a mask when traveling and all that stuff. And um, for me, I'm still kind of doing the whole distancing thing to an extent. I'm definitely not going out and seeing or being around a lot of people at a time, but um, once it's safe again, I would love to just go to Florida, to be honest, and nothing like Super crazy. I would like to just go visit my family in Florida that I didn't get to see this year because I always go at least twice a year and that's where I want to go. Okay, the next one comes from my cousin Sheila and she asks, what is your, what celebrity slash influencer has the best makeup company in your opinion? Ooh, this is a good question. What celebrity or influencer? Um, hmm. That's hard. I don't know. That's a hard question. I really don't have an answer for. <laughs> I'm gonna take the shade Photo Op and I'm gonna add that now to the same place that we added that first color. This is just gonna help 
take away some of that like reddish tone to it and just warm it up a little bit more. Um, but she also asked me another question that I know I can answer is what is your current favorite TV show? My current favorite TV show that I'm watching um, that just, I believe, ended this year is How to Get Away with Murder, on, and I'm watching it on Netflix. I'm so, so obsessed with it. My coworker actually got me hooked onto it, and I can't stop watching it. I'm on season five, almost done with season five, about to be on season six, and I just, I'm obsessed with it. I can't stop watching it. It's so good. So if you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend watching that. I'm going to take the shade on set, which is like a darker brown color. And I'm taking a Morphe M503 brush. And I'm going to top off the access and work this color on the outer V area. And just kind of like bring it up to the like brow, if that makes sense. So just, BB Song asks, what do I do for work outside of YouTube? And I really don't talk much about work outside of like work, but um, outside basically on my YouTube channel very much. But briefly, I do get this question asked a lot. A lot of people are curious as to what I do. Um, I work for a screening a company that we run criminal background checks. So when you go to apply for apartments, employments, anything like that, we do run background checks. Okay, so and I am going to add a little bit of eyeliner. I'm gonna take this Doucet Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen Eyeliner. It's like a liquid liner. And I'm going to just lightly line my lash line here. I just kind of want to put a little bit of liner down for when I put on false lashes. I like to just have a little bit of liner. Next I'm going to curl my lashes just a little bit. I've recently got into the whole curling my lashes. I used to never do this honestly like which is kind of hard to believe I know because I feel like who doesn't curl their lashes but honestly I'm just getting into it. So, and I like it. I'm liking the look it's giving my lashes, so. I'm gonna apply some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. You guys know I love this one. It is my favorite. Also, BB Song asked me, like, love life. Love life is non-existent at the moment. I think, like, with COVID and everything, it's hard to be single right now. So all of my single people, if you're out there, I feel like everyone is, like, Getting married, getting engaged, having babies, not single, getting in relationships, I don't know. All my single peeps, where are you at? Um, it's really hard right now to date during COVID um, because you're still trying to stay safe, still practicing like social distancing, but like dating in that world is not really the best. So that's the only update I have on the dating life. So for the next few things, I'm going to be doing my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows, but I'm also gonna throw on lashes. These are the lashes that I'm using. They're the Kiss 01 Wispy Volume Curl. Yeah, they're just the So Wispies. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and trim these down a little bit because they're too big. And I'm gonna apply those, do my brows, and then I'll come back and do my face. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation. This is in the shade 455. I don't know what the shade name is, so. I think this is gonna be a little bit, it's a little bit too yellow tone for me and I can't find a good match right now. Um, I need to actually like go into a store and have someone match me because at this point it's just becoming a little much. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if the light is blurring everything out or not, but I have a lot of texture here on my cheeks and it just, it really bothers me. More so when I put on foundation than anything. Um, I just don't know what to do about the texture. I need to probably go, I probably need to go back to the dermatologist to go just have them take a look at my skin again and see what kind of product they can recommend for me to use because at this point, I don't know if it's hormonal or not. I wanna say yes, but it's just becoming 
very annoying at this point. Bailey Elise asked me, favorite Jonas Brothers song of all time. This is probably impossible. <sighs> you know, it is a little bit impossible, but not so much because I would say that my favorite Jonas Brothers song has to be When You Look Me In The Eyes. Speaking of Jonas Brothers, look at my little tumbler cup. So cute. I'm gonna apply some Tarte Shape Tape, which is not my favorite, but my favorite concealer, but it's kind of all I have right now that is bright enough for my tan skin. So we're gonna roll with it. I can down my nose, a little bit here. Cupid's bow area. A little bit on my chin. Like that, our under eye is alive again. Sometimes I feel like I have to take a break from makeup products for me to like like them again. Like I took a really long hiatus break from Tarte Shape Tape and now I'm just like, wow, I remember why I liked it so much. Now that we're nice and bright, I'm going to be testing out this new powder. It's called the Elf Halo Setting Powder. It looks like this. One thing I'm already loving about this powder is that you can twist it and close it. Packaging like 10,000 points, Elf. Literally, this is the best because you can close it up and reopen it, which I love. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of this powder out. I got the shade light because I think that was what was best for me. We're going to find out how I like it. So I'm going to bake with this under my eyes. So we're gonna bake. I'm gonna use a fluffy brush and I'm gonna take whatever's in the cap here and I'm just going to lightly dust this all over my skin. I'm going to take a little powder brush and I'm just gonna kinda start sweeping away this powder under my eye. I think I really like this powder. What do you guys think? So the camera cut out. I went ahead and did my brows and did my lower lash line and put on some mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm just going to set this with this essence like brow gel. It's just clear just to set my brows in place because they like to get a little bit crazy sometimes. So I'm going to use my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I'm gonna take a little bit and just slightly contour my nose. And then to bronze, I'm just gonna use, again, the Physicians Formula Bronzer. And I'm just going to bronze up the skin. I'm using this Milani Baked Blush in Berry Amore. And I'm going to start applying my blush a little bit higher up because I feel like it just kind of changes the face shape for you. Instead of putting it so close to my apples, I feel like this just brings my face up. Can you guys see the difference? So like, if I place my blush here, my face just looks lifted. I'm gonna highlight with my tried and true highlight, which is Anastasia Amrizi highlight. Amrizi, Amrizi. And just going to place that here, just like that. Center of my nose, down the bridge, and then on the tip. Then for lips, I'm gonna be lining my lips with the NYX Natural Lip Liner. I heard this trick about kind of like making your lip shorter. kind of like cutting it off more rounder to give you more of a pout. So, I'm gonna try it. It does work, you guys. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but my lip looks a little pouty. Okay, I'm gonna use one of these Tracestique um, lip crayons. They're matte lip crayons. I'm gonna use the shade Florence Fig. Any matte lip cream. This is in the one that's Nantucket Nude. There we go. Oh wow, I love this color. I love the nude, it's, oh my gosh, it's stunning. Okay, so I have two new lip glosses today. These are from Maybelline. This is in the shade Moon 03 and this is in the shade Ice 02. So I think 
Let me swatch this one to see what color I want to put on my lips. This one is literally just clear, and then the other one has a tint to it. So I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to do the tinted one. I'm going to do the amber, I'm going to do the moon 03. Wow. Okay. Hello, nude lipstick combo of the year. Wow, we love it. I'm like obsessed with my lips. Like, I'm loving this combo. Now we're gonna set everything with our Morphe setting spray. If you guys know me, I like to spray a lot. Spray a lot, a lot because it helps just really set, set that makeup. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and just kind of pat over everything to set in that setting spray. So pretty, oh my gosh, I'm loving the look. It turned out absolutely perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out of these clips. This is the final result. I love how it turned out. It's so pretty. So that is going to complete today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me kind of chit chat. If you guys want me to do more videos like this or more makeup looks, give this video a thumbs up. It really lets me know what you guys are loving on my channel. And again, if you have any requests for videos you would like to see on my channel, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and stay updated with me at Instagram. Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I'm very active over there, so if you guys want a more behind the scenes look at my channel and like my life, then definitely head over to my Instagram. And I think that's pretty much it. I will link all these items in today's video down below in the description box, and I will see all of your beautiful faces in my next video, and remember to never stop dreaming. Bye!